Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. SPAT Revolution from Flux Audio is a state-of-the-art immersive audio software designed for 3D spatialization and sound design. It includes tools to position, manipulate, and dynamically control sound sources in stereo or three-dimensional space. This is useful for applications ranging from post-production and virtual reality to live performances and post-production. It supports various formats, including stereo, binaural, ambisonics, and a wide variety of multi-channel setups, up to customized 16-channel configurations. In this video, I'll be using it to demonstrate binaural panning for a simple post-production mix. I won't go in-depth over the setup in this video, as Flux Audio already have a video on this, but I'm using it in conjunction with Pro Tools, and it works with Send plugins, which route the audio from Pro Tools to SPAT Revolution, and a return, which brings the mix back in. SPAT works on the basis that you create virtual rooms for mixing. These can be configured in pretty much any way you like and for any type of speaker output, as I mentioned. This one is set up for binaural, so you'll get a good sense of how it sounds by listening over headphones. One of the great things about using SPAT Revolution for mixing is the distance-based panning. Essentially, we can move sounds further away and they get quieter, but also more reverberant, as they would do in a real space. In fact, there is actually a reverb which is configurable here. I've got some basic settings for a medium to large size room. And the good thing about the panning is that it works in any format from stereo upwards, making this a great alternative to conventional panning, even in basic left-right stereo. As I said, I'll be demonstrating this in binaural in this video, so let's take a listen to how it all works. Here in my Pro Tools session, I've created a bit of a restaurant ambience from various tracks. We've got plates, voices, and so on. Now, these are mute at the moment, but they're routed through SPAT Revolution. We can see each of those tracks represented here. So if, for example, I unmute these voices, we can hear them there, and we can position them anywhere. This is gonna loop around in a minute. I only created about a 20 second section, but we can bring them closer, push them further away. So let's have those voices maybe there. Add some additional ones. Maybe put them there. Okay. Oh, we've got some plates here. Let's see what they're doing. Let's put those behind us. Okay, that sounds all right. There's some people laughing. Now these laughs are intermittent, but they happen periodically we've got two sets of laughs actually um i think they are coming up shortly there they are okay let's position those maybe back here a little bit and the other laughs maybe put them kind of over in that direction let's see how this all sounds okay sounded pretty good i've also added the sound of a clock there it is. Let's put that far away over here. It's only a subtle element. And remember, this will be subject to the reverb. So the reverb will increase as it moves further away. If you want to zoom out, you can scroll your mouse wheel like this, because if you really want to put stuff far away, you might need to do that. There's a distant car horn which happens at some point in this session. It's uh, a little bit later on, actually. That's coming up shortly. In fact, I'm going to deliberately move that quite far away, maybe all the way at the back. Let's zoom out. There it is. Let's hear that bit again, actually. Sounds quite good. Okay, let's resume the loop. Some more laughs here. These laughs can perhaps go at the back of us. There's the sound of a fridge. Of course, you can adjust the level as well here. Oop, I need to be careful with that. Let's put the fridge kind of over here, quite far away. Yeah. There's a TV. Might just turn the TV up a bit. TV's only just audible, but that's probably okay. There we go, it's a telephone that rings a couple of times. The telephone could perhaps be over here. There it is. Some distant plates. Sounds like this. Again, it depends on where these fall in the timeline. You can see these distant plates. Oh, there's something going very wrong in the kitchen. 
Let's put these maybe back here. A little bit further away. Probably I want to reduce that car horn a little bit more. So pull it further away from us. That's supposed to be an exterior element. And finally, we've got some footsteps. Now these are only at a certain section, coming up here. But I just want to show you the integration with Pro Tools and the fact that you can actually automate this. So one clever thing about this is the Spat Revolution Send is actually automatable in Pro Tools and that will actually tie in with Spat Revolution itself. So if, for example, I wanted to do this, what I've already done in Pro Tools is auto-enabled all of the attributes. In fact, it's probably worth activating the Pro Tools preference plugin controls default to auto-enabled and uh, then you know it's going to be ready. Now what we're going to do is I'll do this in latch mode and let's just hear this in solo initially. I'm going to start Pro Tools running. Okay, that's all right. And then deactivate that and play it back. Okay, let's hear the whole thing now. So we'll go back, make a selection here and play it. So that's the basics of how you can use Spat Revolution to perform a binaural mix in conjunction with Pro Tools. Once you're happy with the mix, you can either record it to an audio track in Pro Tools or use the inbuilt record functionality in Spat Revolution. Spat makes creating depth in mixes very easy, whether they're stereo, binaural or surround, because all of the direct sound and reverb is handled smartly by the software. The user just grabs sound and moves it around. For more information on Spat Revolution, visit the Production Expert blog or head over to flux.audio. Thanks for watching.